there is spirit. And there are differences of administrations. And I say laws. And there are diversities of operations. But the same God which worketh all in all. same spirit, to another faith, by the same spirit, to another the gift of healing, by the same spirit, to another the working of miracles, to another prophecy, to another discernment of spirits, to another diverse kinds of tongues, to another the interpretation of tongues, but all this working, that one and the same spirit, dividing to every man separately as he will. For as the body is one and of many members, and all the members of that body, one body, be many are one body. So also is Christ. For by one spirit we are all baptized into one body, whether we be Jews or Gentiles, whether we be bound or free, and have been all made to drink into one spirit. For the body is not one member, but many. Amen. Amen. Bless the sitters. May the Lord add his blessing to the reading of his word. So we continue with our spiritual gifts in the body of Christ. For ministration and for worship. So Jehovah God has given these gifts into his people in his church to be able to operate to the perfection of the saints. So in our scripture this morning, we're going to look at scriptures. The reason why God wants these gifts to be operated the way he wants us to operate it, not according as it's being used the world. As God children, we are a peculiar treasure unto the Lord. We are chosen by Jehovah God himself. And he has exalted us above all nations. And as his people, he always want to guide us as sheep. You don't want us to have our own ways. He wants us to follow his leadership. Then he prepared us for his service. And characterized us with a zeal. A zeal to do his will. Then he writes his commandment on our hearts. So we should be able to walk in his ways. So as a peculiar treasure, the scripture reading is Exodus chapter 19 verse 5. Exodus chapter 19 verse 5. Exodus 19 verse 5. A peculiar treasure. It is trusty. The scripture said, Now therefore, if you will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine. So this is so if we only obey the voice of the Lord, so there will be a peculiar treasure of all the nations of the world, yeah. above all people of the world. Yeah. We only want obedience. To sin by Jehovah, Deuteronomy chapter 14, verse 2. That you have not to see yourself, nobody chose us, but Jehovah God himself 
Akaje woje je wa ala wo ti mo nu church mo ni mo ni ala wo. Be a sorcerer. Be ala wo. Deuteronomy chapter 14 verse 2. Mo se o lo ni ji eyan e e mo se o lo ni je nuna ni church ma keje. Tuku ni tuku ni je eyan. But thou ask and holy people unto the Lord thy God. E ni ji me kan kan ke a ni church mo ro. And the Lord have chosen thee to be a peculiar people unto himself above all the nations that are upon the earth. That is our God. He has chosen you to be a peculiar people above all the people of the world. So the so-called celebratories that we look at them and say, oh, I wish I'm like this. God has only above you, raise you above them. Oh, baby. Oh, now, look at our now, put over there. Oh, baby, I'm a poor. You try air above all nations. That okay. You can take it. Verse. 19. Nineteen. Deuteronomy twenty-six nineteen. And to make thee high above all nations which he hath made, in praise and in name and in honor. And that thou mayest be an holy people unto the Lord thy God as he has spoken. Everything in That is how God has made us. So we need not to covet. We need not to look at yes, that. I wish I'm like the well, this person. I wish I live. No. Recognize who you are. Yes, sir, Mama Noji. Guarded like flock. Na boa na tomo tuku. Leading us by flock. Ade ye wo hie tomo tuku. Psalm seventy-eight, verse fifty-two. Lala seventy-eight. Lala nyume paoke. Verse 52. He said, But made his own people to go like forth like sheep and gather them in the wilderness like a flock. Are you want to children. My sheep know my voice. And the strangers was it is he that have made us, and not we ourselves. We are the people and the sheep of his pasture. He has made us. He are the sheep of his pasture. Then he has prepared us for a service. Prepare a man for service. If you don't prepare you, you get cannot it prepare it yourself. It's so, it's so. Brother, as much as we have washed ourselves and we have put on dresses, to come here. What you are, But to come before the presence of God, it's the Spirit of God that prepares you. To be a vessel for the Master, it must be the Spirit of the Living God to prepare you. Get your affair. Luke chapter 1 verse 17. Luke 1:17. Shall we hear the word of the Lord? He said, And he shall go before him in the spirit and the power of Elias to turn the house of 
the fathers to their children and the disobedient to the wisdom of the just to make ready a people prepare for the Lord. He is the one that will put the spirit in you to do it. To work his own works. The Acts chapter 15 verse 14. But let's move to characterize by zeal. Titus chapter 2 verse 14. Zeal to work the works of God. Yes. Not to be slothful. But to work the very works of Christ. Titus chapter 2 verse 14. Said, Who gave himself for us that we, he might redeem us from all iniquity. And purify unto himself a peculiar people. Peculiar people. Zealous to good works. We are the peculiar people zealous unto good works. What many Good words you follow us. Good good words words to come come out of us. The law written upon our hearts. The law of God written upon our hearts. Hebrews chapter 8, verse 10. Hebrews chapter 8, verse 10. Hebrews chapter 8, verse 10. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, say yes, the Lord. I will put my laws into their mind and write them in their hearts. Write them in their hearts and I will be to them a God and they will be to me a people. God shall be our God we shall be his people. A people unto the Lord. So these are why God has given us the gifts. These are the reasons why God has given us the gifts. That we should not work. operate the gifts Drum that the people of the world operate it. But allow the spirit of the living God to take us home. Surrender our open unto him. There will be vessels and tools in his hands that you can depend upon. So now we turn into the message Jehovah Jerry. Preach in 1961. He said, Now, the gifts, where Paul said, I pray endlessly for the best gifts. Brother Paul said, That is the church gifts. The offices. There is a gift and then an office. An office that, that is a prophet, an office of a prophet. There is a lot different between a prophet and a gift of prophecy. Before a gift of prophecy really should be given in the church, it has to come before two or three judges. There is a gift of discernment that will say whether what is being said to that body. If it is not when the gift is given, 
the gift of prophecy is given, the, the church takes it. No, people that God has given them the gift of discernment. They have to descend no, enter into the realms of the spirit to see whether that prophecy is of God or is not of God. No, Brother said, when they said it is of the Lord, they append their signature to it. So the prophecy is being read. Sister Sosun and So prophesied that this and this is going to happen. Brother, this is that these are the spirit of discernment, and they descended that it was from God. So the church should accept it. And when it comes to pass, brother said, we give praise unto the Lord. That the gift is operating on this thing But when it doesn't come to pass, he said the one that gave the prophecy and the people that gave the discernment need to be brought before the altar to be prayed for, for that spirit to be casted out of their lives. So when they come to pass, they come to pass. He said, because we don't want to dwell with evil spirits. So if somebody prophesied or had a dream or had a vision and the vision does not come to pass, it is an evil spirit that came upon that person. And that evil spirit needs to be casted out. So Brother Brown said now, when a real prophet like Isaiah he was born a prophet. They had the that says the rock. See, he said, and that is it has a deep a lot difference of it. I think the church needs a real good teaching on this. If one give speaking tongues and one give interpretation, the church by discernment and tell. Some, it is purely flesh, flesh. Behold, he cometh. Behold, he is cometh. Or something like that. Why sure we say, God, God don't use vain repetitions. Told us not to. And he wouldn't. No. So, somebody say, oh, the Lord is coming. Go, ba, ba, Prophecy, ba, 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 the Lord is coming. The Lord is coming. But I said, this is purely fleshly. Carnality. Carnality. He said, God, that's not God, that's, it is not God speaking. No. He said, we should not use vain repetitions. He said, when in our church, when we give one of them, we had in the church, rather, when the first become Pentecostals, a prophecy, the gifted brethren, people first met. Someone spoke in tongues, somebody gave the interpretation. It has something, that, it has something directly to the church. He had a message. Tell brother so and so to get away from this and don't do this. Or don't be at this corner at this time because certain things is going to happen. And then, before that could be given, then it had to be discerned by two or three different descendants. And they put their names on the paper and laid it on the desk. No. And I give it out to the church. And if it happens, thank God. If it don't, I wouldn't let them do it no more till they get that evil spirit away from them. That is right. 
My brother said, we don't have to take a substitute. The Pentecostal cells are full of genuine. Why take something that is bogus when there is a real things? So, you can't get the money. You can't get the money. He said, then, you see, somebody got out right there. Somebody said, that say yes, the Lord. Tell Brother Abraham, tonight, there is a woman that will come in. She is coming from Ohio. She is dressed in a certain garment. She got cancer. When she was a little girl, she stole money from the treasury. She could never be healed. Tell her to go and take the money back and make it right. That says the law. She will be healed. There it is. There wasn't a message directly to somebody like that. It was flesh. We can't accept that at all. Well, there are people that say, if it doesn't come this way, it is not from God. You say, what it what I come here and say, the Lord tells me somebody got kidney problem. How many got kidney problems? Sure, okay. it's all about the building. I seen that so impersonated of the gift of God. Somebody tells me, Lord, tell me, Hallelujah. I feel nervous. Somebody here is nervous. Sure, the whole crowd is. Okay, kidney, kidney. At all. I feel it. Somebody have a headache. So many people have a headache. Somebody will be nervous. But when God is giving a message, He gave the message directly to a particular person. He calls your name. This and this is what is wrong with you. No, 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 no. You see, God has not made try and error. So the gifts that need to be operated here are try and error gifts. They need to be accurate on the dots. That says the Lord. That is the genuine gift the prophet said God has given to the church. Rabbi said, why accept that when there is a real one? God will accept impersonation, carnal impersonation. Oh, you did. He said, it is natural. I am showing you a, para a parable in the natural. See, maybe in the, the other brothers could pack water. They are strong, but are happy to, be to be tall. God makes us what we are. Preachers, evangelists, apostles, prophets. It it he say, who taking thought can what keep you to his structure? You can't do it. Don't try to be this where you are not. That one. Just be what you are. Oh, I have a problem. 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 I on the platform, that's the way God is using his gifts. He said, the same way that a woman touched his garments. He never said so and so. He said, that time I saved thee. He looked round and he saw who touched 
the garment, and he perceived that you has gone out of him, and he said, Look, your faith has made you well. And brother said, But watch when the father showed him that Lazarus was going to die. Now, Jesus never did one thing with that. The father showing him first. Well, okay, How many knows that? Yes, Chris, if you look at the church, you know what I'm saying? He said, Verily, verily, absolutely, absolutely, I say nothing until what I see the father doing. So he says, So the father told him, Go away. Lazarus is going to die. No, then like after oh. four days or so many days, return. And I ha you have to go and raise him up again. That's all about boy. She be a He left. He never said where he was going. Lazarus took sick. They sent for him. And why? He just went on. He They sent for him again. That was strange. But see, see, but men are led by the Spirit of God. Just have faith and believe God. He said, when they are following the vision of God, okay. He said, when they are following the vision of God, they can't tell you what they are doing. He said, just leave them alone. And why? Because in the realms of the spirit, you cannot interpret it in the natural man. So, brother, said, when it is in the realms of the spirit, he said, just leave it. If you want to explain it, a natural man cannot understand it. No. Because the scripture says, are spiritually descended. So if If I want to understand Brad David, I need the spirit of Brad David, which is human spirit. Then I will understand it. And if I want to understand God, I need the spirit of God to understand God. understand God. Without the Spirit of God, I can't understand God. So we need the Spirit of God. You can't explain certain things. So, brother Vincent, certain things you can't explain. That is my life. Is. Yeah. So then, he came to find out that then Jesus knew the time that the father has shown him no, to be fulfilled. He said, our okay. friend Lazarus sleeps. He said, well, if he sleeps, no, he does well. Then he said, he is dead. dead. But for your sake, I am glad that I wasn't dead. See, but I go wake him. Watch him at the grave. Ni, brother said, watch him. Watch no, him at the grave. When he comes to the grave, say, Father, I thank thee. Thou hast already, you see, for them that are standing here, just to make an example, he called Lazarus no, to che, come. Lazarus, I call Lazarus, Jacoba. He said, to him, Lazarus was sleeping in death. Le, Lazarus, he has been in the grave for four days. The nurse and everything have fell on. Corruption has set in the body. He called the man's spirit back no, e che, and raised him up e che, e mo, ke kuse, kwa, bote, mi, ne, che, e che, and went up to supper with him. Ne, ne, kla, ye, ni. He went out and had supper with him. But he knew what was going to happen. He said, for your sake. I'm praying now. 
But I know the Father hears me. Il a gâté à vous habitué. Lazarus. Lazarus. Dieu pourri. And Lazarus came forth. Lazarus dit quoi? To the Lord Jesus, it is not something that is whether it's going to happen or it's not going to happen. Why don't you ask yourself like, Dieu nous connaît, bah là quand que Kaye. Try your arrow. No. He knew already. He knew already. The Father has already shown to him. Et Dieu pourri tu as l'amour. Lazarus is going to get sick. Don't be there. Don't Kaya. go there. Kaya he will pass on. After four days, be there. Be there. And raise him up. So when he was talking to the disciples, he was speaking spiritual language and they couldn't understand it. Our friend Lazarus sleepeth. He said, oh, if he's sleeping, then he's doing well. He said, to your language. To the human language He is dead. So the spiritual language that is not spiritual language. Is not spiritual language. And if he wants to understand the things of God, we need that spiritual language. Okay, so we need that spiritual language. And if he wants to the things of God, we need that spiritual language. Okay, so we need that spiritual language. And if he wants to understand the things of God, we need that spiritual language. language is to clamp up here he called it to John clamp up either we need to clamp into clamp up into God before we can be able to understand it God is not able to understand it there are so many things when you talk about things in the realms of the spirit you can't understand it as a human being you say, how can it be how will it be? And how is and this going to happen? That's that is. Just as I am without one play, but that that blood was shed for me. One five four. Oh Lamb of God, I come, I come. Just as I am without one play, but that the blood washes for me. And I'm the best maker to thee, O Lamb of God, I come, I come. Just as I am. Just as I am without one place, but that the blood was for me, and that the peace be come to thee, O Lamb of God, I come, I come. Just as I am and with Yes, I saw. 